Chloe Bailey recently had a social media livestream with her followers to discuss why she isn't doing live performances more frequently. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Someone said, why haven't you been performing? Trust me, I would be performing if I could. She continued by saying that the shows were expensive and that her label had not given her the necessary resources. The thing is, is that money goes into performances. Consequently, Beyonce's admirers have been demanding that she receive additional assistance, given her contract with the legendary singer's record label, Parkwood Entertainment. It's not free to do performances and you have to get budgets approved and things like that. Some have accused Columbia Records of being default. If I could, I'd be performing everywhere. She continued by defending her work ethic and clarifying that it was unrelated to her desire to perform well. She is signed to Parkwood Entertainment, which is Beyonce's label, and signed to Columbia for distribution. So yes, it's actually Beyonce who gets the blame for those confused. One user wrote in the comments, Trouble in Paradise, Bailey's second studio album, was released in August. Collaborations with Jeremy, Anderson, Pac, Ty Dolla Sign, and others are included. Haley Bailey has made it apparent that she is tired of the criticism and talk surrounding her son, Halo. Haley Bailey wrote a long essay defending her work and her son, whom she shares with DDG, and a now deleted post on X I'm so sick of people thinking it's okay to speak on my career and my child. Leave us alone. I rebuke every negative word on this app and I hope the people who are concerned about my life put that energy into themselves. God will continue to cover and protect my family, the actress wrote. Haley talked on how being pregnant affected her eating in addition to defending herself, and her child. Haley said, no longer, in response to a fan who inquired about her vegan diet during the broadcast. She went on to say that she started eating meat again because she was pregnant. I was vegan for 13 years up until then. And I honestly was just like well, I'm just gonna give my body what it wants right now. Because I'm doing a really hard job of growing a human. And I also wanted to make sure that Halo was getting the proper nutrients and things he needed. The R&B songstress explained. Haley Bailey and DDG welcomed their first child, a son named Halo, at the end of the previous year. The couple consistently refuted the many pregnancy rumors that surrounded the baby's arrival. They have given fans innumerable entertaining updates on their journey as parents since Halo was born. One of them recently posted a cute video of him riding what looks to be a kid-friendly train ride in the mall. His extreme lack of confidence in the circumstances was soon picked up and exploited by social media users. As people hilariously alter the video with their own subtitles, the meme is currently becoming viral on TikTok. Me looking at the who decided to sit by me when it's 100 empty seats, one of them reads. Me looking at my bank account after a spending spree, another says. Naturally, Halo's parents were quick to realize this, and DDG wasted little time in getting in touch with X to voice his opinions. Before sharing one of the laughing emojis on his page, he remarked, who made my son into a meme. My son more lit than me, I love it, he continued. Bailey, on the other hand, just posted a picture of herself crying and laughing on X. What you do that side? See, that's why people be thinking you annoyed with me. Halo, the son of DDG and Haley Bailey, seems to have grown tired of his father's pranks, as evidenced by their endearing first argument. Yeah, that's a little bit. Since I'm getting on your nerves so much. The rapper and YouTuber can be heard telling a clearly unimpressed Halo in a video uploaded to TikTok on Monday, August 19th, that when he gets older, he would be hanging with his dad all the time and participating participating in every sport imaginable. The infant then sighed, a move that DDG observed is indicative of a child who was frustrated with him on the internet. He then gave the infant some space, and the sweetness just kept getting better. You stay over there. As I get on your nerves so much, you stay over there. How about that? The internet reacted swiftly to a video that Ever Proud Dad DDG posted of Halo receiving his first lineup last month, labeling him a clout chaser and saying it was way too soon, among other things. Hello, man. When the barber started using the trimmers, he did start to cry. However, Papa Bear used a bottle to soothe him, and he ended up being alright. The main reason why so many social media people were criticizing this move was the potential damage it could do to Halo's hair in the future. There were also those who were just making fun of DDG for choosing to carry out this. DDG, however, was having none of it and lost his mind once more. People got something got to say because I got my son a lineup at 6 months. Listen y'all, y'all worry about your own kids. He came out of my balls, not yours. Worry about your own baby. Worry about your daddy. Why your daddy couldn't afford you a haircut? Let me be a happy dad, DDG said. The multimedia figure even suggested that black people are doing the majority of the talking, when instead they should be happy for him. Why y'all always gotta say negative things about your own race? Instead, you should've just said the lining is crispy, cause it is, I know.